Well, meanwhile, the Russian journalist and Nobel Peace Laureate Dmitry Muratov has auctioned his Nobel Medal for just over $103 million to help refugees from the war in Ukraine. He won the Peace Prize alongside Maria Ressa, the Filipino journalist, last year. Mark LaBelle reports. He's thinking about it at 16, eight, new bidder, completely new guy. Bidding for a better life for Ukraine's war refugees. Then, ladies and gentlemen, done. Oh, over $100 million. A staggering $103 million for the 23-carat gold Nobel Prize medal, won last year by Russian journalist Dmitry Muratov for defending freedom of expression in Russia. He'd already donated the $500,000 prize money to charity. My country invaded the territory of another state, Ukraine. There are now 15.5 million refugees, and how one must deal with this is completely incomprehensible. We thought for a long time about what we could do, what each individual could do, and we thought that everyone should give away that which is dear to them, important to them. In March, Muratov halted his independent newspaper's operations in Russia after a warning from Moscow over its Russia-Ukraine war coverage. The next month, he was attacked with red paint, laced with solvent acetone aboard a train in Russia. Undeterred, he held this sale, partly to inspire others to sell their personal mementos too, though all is not lost. I still have this one, have a look, it's chocolate, so I have a souvenir. And the most important emotion, well, look, out of 15.5 million refugees, 40% are minors. Of these, 5.2 million to 5.3 million need help. How can you live with that every day? Children displaced by the war in Ukraine will benefit from this record amount for this medal now heading to UNICEF paid for by a mystery bidder, as Heritage Auctions, which conducted the sale, has not revealed who it is. Wow, that's a lot of dough. All right, Dustin, Mark Lobel, please, let me see BBC News. Yeah, a staggering amount of money. We all want to know who the winning bidder was.